everybody, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas. I'm here to show you today how to make this flip card. It's really easy. It's got this cool tab at the end for pulling. I made this card for our anti-embellishment TCP Tuesday challenge. It even has a special place on the inside to put your message. And the star is the only embellishment on this card. The rest is all ink and paper. And for this card, we're going to use a couple of cut-ups. Our framed up cut-up die, our cloud border, and our big scallop cut-ups. That actually makes the pull tab. And then we're going to need a stamp set. This is our O shoot set. We're going to be using the bunny with a parachute and the O shoot sentiment. The main die we're going to be using for the card is our framed up cut-ups die. It's actually three different dies in one. When you first get the die, it looks like this. Three different dies held together with wire connectors. To separate the dies, just take a pair of needle nose pliers and gently twist the wire connectors off. For this project, we're going to be using the biggest die. And for this project, we need to mark the center of the die at both the top and at the bottom. Now let's make the base of the card. You need a piece of four and a quarter by six and three quarters cardstock. Now score at the two and a half inch mark and at the three and a half inch mark. And you only have to score about an inch from the top and at the bottom. You don't need to score in the center because that's where the die is going to go. Now let's go ahead and place the decorative paper. You're going to need a piece of three quarter inch by four inch paper, a panel of three inch by four inch paper, and another panel of two and a quarter by four inch paper. Now the three quarter inch pull tab that I'm going to be adding to the left hand side of the card will make it the perfect size to fit into a regular envelope. But if your card doesn't have that tab at the end, you're going to want to make your card base four and a quarter by seven and a half. Now the fun part, cutting the die. Let's make this part that flips. So here's my trusty cuddle bug. I've got the A plate and the B plate. Now I take my die and I line up the center part of the die to the very first score line. The one that was at two and a half inches. And just so it doesn't move, because I'm going to be passing it through the die cut machine twice, I'm going to add a little bit of tape to the inside. Now when I place my C plate, I'm going to cover only but the part of the die that I want to cut. And I want to line up the edge of the C plate right along the second score line. And here it is run through the die cut machine. It only cut where I put the C plate. Now let's do the other side. And you do it exactly the same way. You place the edge of the C plate right along the score line. And then you run it through the die cut machine. You don't want to cut the center portion because that's the part that makes it flip. And because we're cutting through two sheets of paper, we may have to run it through twice. And that's where the tape comes in handy. Make sure that the die doesn't slip. So now we're done with the die, so I'm going to take the tape off. And we actually don't need that um, cut piece of paper, designer paper. So I'm going to also take that off because I don't like the um, extra weight. So here's how you make the card flip. At the second score, you fold it in half over. The first score, you fold it back. And that's it. Let's see that again. At the second score, you fold it over in half. And the first score, you fold it back. It flips. 
Well, that was easy. Now I've cut two pieces of craft cardstock. And using the same die, I'm going to tape the die to the cardstock that I cut. I'm going to be doing some stippling in the center of the die, so I don't want any of the tape covering the paper. So now I just take some black dye ink and a stipple brush and start stippling. If I want the colors to be more direct and more concentrated, I squish the bristles of the brush, brush together like this. That way I can really control where the bristles of the brush, brush go. If I want a more delicate look, I don't hold the bristles closed. See, you can see the difference. More concentrated, squish, more delicate, free flowing bristles. Okay, I'm going to continue stippling around the edge of the die. Now the die acts as a mask and keeps the edge of the, the craft paper that's underneath the die nice and clear so it'll form a nice frame. And this is why I like to use die based ink. That way the cleanup of the die is really, really easy. It's just soap and water or a baby wipe. I think that's it. Now I'm just going to release the die from the tape. And you'll see the frame show up quite nicely. That looks good. Now I'm going to do the second one. I've gone ahead and uh, attached one of the panels that we just stippled to the inside of the card. Now let's work on the front part. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the bunny with the parachute using some of my favorite ink. It's VersaFine Onyx Black. Make sure that I press nice and firmly in the center. So this is kind of a big stamp. And then I'm going to set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to take a little panel of black and stamp the sentiment on it. I'm going to use a little bit of this Stampin' Up! Whisper White Craft Ink the pad's really juicy so I don't need to press down too firmly when I press the stamp down. Looks good. And I'm going to set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to attach the little tab panel that I've already cut a little bit of adhesive. And now for the clouds. This is from our cloud border cut-up dies. It actually cuts four clouds at one time. But for this card, we only need two groups of two, so I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to stipple the edges just with what's on the stipple brush. I'm not even going to use more ink. Just darkens it up a little bit and gives it a little bit more texture. Now it's time to color the bunny and the parachute. And that usually takes me a bit of time, but I'll make it fast.
that's enough for you. Now we're going to take the panel and attach the bunny with the parachute to the very front of the card. Remember, this was an embellishment challenge, so I picked my embellishment carefully. I'm going to add a red star brad to the, to the corner of this sentiment panel. I love that little pop of color. And I think a little flag cut in the end would be really cute. And because foam tape always makes things a little bit more special, I'm going to attach this little flag with a bit of foam tape. And what's good for the flag is good for the clouds. So a little bit of foam tape on the back of the clouds as well. And to carry the theme through, I'm going to put some clouds on the inside. A little foam tape. Now the only thing that you have to be aware of when you put the clouds on is to make sure that the adhesive doesn't show through on the other side. No foam tape visible, please. Maybe a little higher. I like this card. And it's so cute. And only one embellishment but that embellishment's very special. I love how it flips. Making flip cards is easy with our cut up dies. I hope you try it. Thanks so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.